you need a wideband air to fuel ratio gauge. And here's why. So before I get into the exact why and give you an example of why my air to fuel ratio gauge was extremely useful recently, I just wanna talk a little bit about what the air to fuel ratio gauge actually is. Now, there are two types of gauges you could get. You can get a wide band air to fuel ratio gauge and a narrow band air to fuel ratio gauge. You want to get a wide band air to fuel ratio gauge. Now, this one's gonna be more expensive and it's gonna come with a sensor an actual oxygen sensor that you need to put into your exhaust, a secondary sensor that you add, and that sensor is gonna be just for the gauge. And you're gonna want the wide band gauge because this is gonna be the most accurate at actually telling you your true air to fuel ratio. I just wanna give some basics to what these numbers mean in your air to fuel gauge uh, so you could know if you're having issues with your car. So the first thing you need to know is basically a rich uh, setting. A rich means you're getting more fuel. If you're seeing 10s on your gauge or 10 or lower, you're running rich um, and that can vary depending on what you're doing with your car. And on the other end of that spectrum, usually if you're seeing 17s to 20s, that means you're running lean. That can be very dangerous if you're running lean if you're not getting enough fuel in your engine. However, don't be surprised to see your wideband read lean when you let off the gas because that's exactly what's happening is it's going to go lean as soon as you let off. Full throttle is when your wideband is gonna be most valuable to making sure you don't do damage to your engine. And this is why I think you need a wideband gauge, especially if you have an Evo or a turbocharged car. And I have a perfect example for you. So this car was tuned probably about two months ago. It was tuned running great. It's been running great for a while. We took some time to work out the tune, get everything perfect, but we hadn't touched the tune for at least a month. The car's still running uh, totally fine, but I noticed under full throttle that as I go higher in the RPMs, as I went anything above like 4,500 RPMs, and then I only went up to about 6,000 RPMs because at full throttle, at those high RPMs, my air to fuel was leaning out. So I was looking at the gauge and noticed I was seeing close uh, to 13s, low 13s to mid 13s, which is still okay, I guess. I don't wanna give you specific advice at what numbers are working for you, but I was previously seeing 11 and a half to 12s. So I didn't change anything with the car. I didn't change anything with the tune. And all of a sudden I'm starting to run leaner and I need to know why. And this, you know, this isn't good. And that's what this is. The air to fuel ratio gauge is just a tool for you. So you can monitor what's actually going on and you can monitor it fast enough where you can make changes before something catastrophic happens. Realistically, if I wouldn't have had this gauge, I would have still been out thrashing on the car all the time because it still ran fine. It was just running leaner and leaner as I got up into the higher RPM range. But luckily I had this air to fuel ratio gauge so I could see that it was starting to lean out. Here, the issue was actually totally my fault. The aftermarket fuel pump I have in here didn't have a little rubber basically grommet at the bottom to keep it from kind of pushing out. And what happened is the fuel pump itself was starting to push out of the casing so it wasn't building as much pressure. So when your fuel pump isn't building enough pressure to put enough fuel into your engine, it's gonna run lean. So like I said, I was getting the higher numbers on the air to fuel gauge ratio. It was starting to lean out under full throttle. So that's what you can watch for if you have a wide band. Even if you're not an expert at tuning your car, um, realistically, you're just using this air to fuel gauge um, as a tool so you can see what's going on. It can be so valuable for you to say, hey, you know, um, why is this leaning out? You can talk to your tuner, you talk to the person, see what's going on, um, and at least give them a heads up and they can tell you if what you're running for air to fuel ratio at full throttle is safe or not. So again, I recommend that you get a wide band air to fuel ratio. Hopefully my story uh, helps you understand exactly why uh, you would need it and how it can be useful. And if you have any more questions, I suggest you do more research and dive a bit deeper into this. But I just wanted to kind of make this video to give some basics on uh, air to fuel ratio gauge.